Hey guys, I have already started the evening. Of course, I've had to do some declining. The first one is $8.78. Of course, that sounds nice, but not for these miles, 8.5. That was a decline. Then Uber Eats sent me another one, $3.08 for 3.5 miles. Another decline. Shortly after that, they sent me something a little bit more reasonable. It is two pickups, $18.57 for 9.7 miles. Now, the miles are a little higher than I typically like to take um, but the pay is good I know where it's taking me and both orders are at the same restaurant I am here right now I'm ready to go and check on this order Hi. Uh, two pickups, Dan S and Taylor B okay What's your name? Uh, Dan. 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 Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we'll you too. Okay. All right, so both orders are ready. I loaded it up. I'm getting ready to take off, and Uber Eats is sending me another offer. So I take a peek, and they sent me a good one. So of course it's going to be three orders. It's a 0.2 miles additional, and it's for six dollars and eleven cents. So I guess we're going back in and uh, grabbing the third order from the same restaurant, which is nice. So uh, yeah, we're gonna hopefully keep the wheels moving tonight. We're heading in. One more pickup, Joe H. Anything else? I like your outfit. Oh, more. thank you. <laughs> What's the name? What's your name? Oh, you want to see it again? Yeah. Thank you. You too. All right, third order was ready, which is awesome. Um, all three orders were ready, so that is nice. Now, the only thing is with the third order, he was talking to me and wanting to check the order, but then he pulled the tag off, and usually I catch them when they do that. Um, the rest of them have their tags on it, so it'll be fine in this situation, but I've had a restaurant pull off of both tags before in front of me, and I'm like, how am I going to know which is which? Um, I caught her luckily, but I did end up writing the customer's name on the third order just, you know, to be on the safe side, and I put them in my back seat because it can get confusing with three orders. Um, I do keep a permanent marker in my car for those situations. Um, yeah, it can get confusing, but first customer, four minutes, 1.7 miles, we're on our way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Let's see. It is okay. That is not the one. I have a I have a few drop offs. <laughs> I'll leave it at the front door. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> yes. All right, first orders dropped off and the neighbor, I guess, is hanging out over the house. They offered to take it up there, but I'm like trying to figure out which bag I had put that customer's food in. Anyways, I told them I'd leave it by the front door. So that's all good. Next customer is 10 minutes, four miles. We're on our way. It is a hotel, at least what the notes say. So yeah, we're heading to a hotel. All right, guys, orders dropped off. It was on the fourth floor. And I know some of you guys, you know, especially with some hotels, it's just kind of sketchy, you know, going and delivering to a hotel, especially if it's a meet at door. Now this order was a meet at door. I just left the order by their door, took a picture for my own records and gave a knock and marked it delivered. You can also just leave it at the front desk, take a picture of it at the front desk, message the customer, let them know you left at the front desk. Always make sure you put yourself first, your safety first. Don't ever put yourself in an uncomfortable or unsafe situation. You always want it to be better Better safe than sorry so yeah I've never been to this hotel it's a nicer newer hotel um, but yeah I'm not gonna sit there and wait at somebody's hotel door I'm just gonna leave it there they're gonna get their food and um, all shall be well we're heading to the next customer eight minutes four miles and let me know your thoughts on hotel deliveries I know in the past um, when I've delivered to a hotel some of you said you just leave it at the front desk that's what you feel safe doing um, some of you said you'll just leave it at the door and give a knock and mark it delivered so let me know your thoughts on it we're on our way to the next customer all right 
right, guys, last orders dropped off. Picking up those three orders from the same restaurant went absolutely smooth. Um, it was an apartment, but it was super easy to find one of those apartment complexes that's straightforward, easy to see the building numbers and easy to see the apartment. So that is all good. So it took me about seven-ish minutes to get another order. Um, kind of headed back towards where all of my restaurants are. Had a lot of declining, but I'm gonna save you on all the declines I had. Here's a few of them. $4.09 for eight point three miles and this drop off was going to take me in to Portland. I had to double check because um, yeah, it, it is far out there and that is just an absolute no for $4.09. Absolutely not. Next one was $3.40 for 6.3 miles. Super low pay, high miles, not even worth taking another look at. And then here's another one, $4.70 for 3.3 miles. Those are just absolute no's. Like I said, there was quite a bit of decline for I finally got something reasonable. The order that I did accept was $6.09 for 3.3 miles for Chick-fil-A. I am here right now. Orders are usually ready or close to being ready. We're heading in. guys order was ready sitting on the shelf just as I was hoping for um, so I get to the shelf and I see and I always like to look at the order before I go in because you know drinks can be forgotten and there was a drink on the order you can see it back there um, so I'm thinking you know she got a meal and a drink and I'm expecting one bag there was two bags so it kind of threw me off um, took a look there was no name on it, it was sitting right behind it with the drink so um, and then I guess they had a soup so that's probably what's in the bag is their meal their soup and then their drink so customer is nine minutes 2.6 miles they are in an apartment um but yeah apartments have been going pretty smooth because the gps is typically pretty accurate not all the time but typically um but i always double check to make sure i'm at the right location verify it with my eyes don't always rely on the pinpoint we're on our way All right, guys, last orders dropped off and I've actually delivered to this customer before um, because when you pull into the entrance, some apartment complexes won't show you like the building numbers, like when you're pulling into the complex, probably because they don't want you to stop in there. Um, this apartment complex does and it's a wide enough for two cars to go through and I know where this customer is. They're on the ground floor. So I just parked off to the side of the curb, turned on my hazards, got to the door, dropped it off. So smooth drop off quick and easy because I've delivered to them before. Um, the only thing is it's happened to me a couple times tonight is every time I take a picture with Uber Eats, the photo gets loaded. I go to, you know, close out the order and my photo disappears. <laughs> That's happened to me a couple times tonight. I don't know if you guys are having the same issue. It seems like a glitch because there was a recent update. Um, but yeah, this time I didn't have a photo to submit on the last one. I just, I took the first photo. It disappeared, took another one because I was still standing there. But this time I didn't see it until I got back to my car and I wasn't going to walk back over there to take a photo. I have one in um, my photos for my own records. Um, so if there ever was an issue, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. Let me know if you guys are noticing that with Uber Eats. You take a photo and then it disappears that's a pain hopefully they'll fix it or maybe it's just a glitch for today I don't know anyways I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here the night has been going smooth so far hopefully it continues that way I'm gonna see what else I can get always appreciate you guys riding along with me and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys